since 5 o'clock in the morning, actually since last night, I'm not doing um, I just did my girl sheets and stuff, I have to put their covers in a little once the stuff is done drying, once their clothes is done drying, I have to finish pulling clothes, um, I have two more loads and then I'm done, finally, I'll be happy when I'm done, I'm trying to get breakfast going because I gotta wake my daughter up and give her her medicine, So, I try to get breakfast going and get the house started so I can get the house together, get the day started, so I need to, to have a good day today, so I know I'm going to pick up some bacon, I got my pancakes right here, I already made it and make some cheese in it. a lot messier. I'm gonna actually um, put the bacon in a pan. And bake it in the oven. Just so that <coughs> You know, the bacon can hurry up and get done in the other instead of fucking keep having to flip this shit. I didn't think about that. But now it's started out. So I'm using some thick baking places. I just cut the pack in half. I did dishes last night, but I am going to wash these fruit cups that my kids um, had in their room. Thank you. 
covers on my bed lastly so really I have three loads not two so I just thought about that I forgot I have to wash my covers on my bed um, I have to put the girls covers like I said in the washer I'm going to put the girls' covers in the washer next once. That stuff in the washer is done washing, but hopefully by the time that's done, you know, draining and spinning the stuff that's in a dryer, hopefully that's dry because I just tried to dry it. Usually, if it's like a real big load, I would have to dry it twice, and I hate that, y'all. So I got my big simple pancake batter is already made. Usually I'll throw some sprinkles in pancake batter, but the kids, the girls used it all the last time I made pancakes. So I'm working with what I got. So I go grocery shopping. Like I said, I'm going to take you guys with me. I'm going to go grocery shopping so that you guys can you know, see everything that I, I buy in my household and stuff. Uh, really, I can't wait to go grocery shopping next one. I know the kids probably, it wasn't enough. <coughs> Sorry about that, y'all. I'm pretty happy that um, I decided to cook breakfast because now I'm thinking about it, it was only a little bit of milk left really a little bit of milk so I'm happy that I decided to make breakfast because it was not enough milk for my babies to all eat you know cereal and be satisfied so I know my daughter was asking me for I had some freezer waffles I was like ugh I don't know what that for sure I don't know. that I'm making some pancakes so she'll be happy to wake up when I wake her up to breakfast mommy pancakes mommy thank you I love you mommy they be so happy I'm gonna stay in one of waffles yesterday I'm getting my baby So, I'm kind of moving so much in because I know I'm tired of shit, so bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to get everything down. I'm trying to make this like a huge, you know, long out video. But sometimes it happens like that. I'm a little salt to my egg. I said some peppers. I meant pepper. Pepper. Um, usually I like to add mint and then I don't know. I'm not trying to go for that, so I just said I got my powder. Um, Sometimes 
in here. A little bit. Start buying some spinach so that way I can add spinach and eggs as well. You know, like spinach and tomatoes and shit like that. I promise I was going to get back to the videos. This ain't a whole thing, but this is. Morning vlog on what I do. To get ready. Sorry, I got the light off. pancakes as well um but while them is cooking can we wash these few dishes and then we'll go check on the clothes downstairs because i know that the washer stopped for sure so i need to see Thank 
gives me the game. That's how I like it. Kids, they love playing with some pancakes. Oh, yeah, I gotta. Let me reach my hand. Check on these clothes downstairs. Where is pancake?
of stuff in that um, basin is done. Hold on. covers to the washer. It is freaking busy. Oh, it's a shorter pancake. I should do it. Now I can focus on the pancake. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Is consistent. It is busy because I'm I'm just always doing something. Like I've been watching all morning. It is now 9 a.m. Making breakfast for everyone. My kids, I have very messy freaking kids, so I can't stand when, when people like come to my house and I think my house is supposed to be like super spotless clean, like there's not supposed to be a toy or a toy or nothing. But my kids, I have three freaking kids that I'm chasing right now. I stopped cleaning so much during the day because I realized what the fuck is the point. My kids gonna keep fucking up the goddamn house. And it's like, I chase after them, pick up a toy, they pull them up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I say, it stresses me the hell out. The fact that my kids are like this. But then again, I gotta think they're just kids. I can't put so much emphasis and so much pressure on them. Let them be kids and have fun. But still, while they're being kids and having fun, I'm trying to instill and teach my kids discipline and how to be clean. Because they're at that age where they can understand. You know what I'm saying? They comprehend. They talk. They talk back. Especially my daughter always telling me no. Or, Mom, I don't like you. Or, Mom, I don't love you. She say a little smart shit like that to me. Like, when she gets an attitude with me. And I, she don't get her way. And I don't give her what she wants. She sit there and tells me, Mom, I don't love you. I 
I don't like you. My mom wants you. How do y'all think that makes me feel as a mom? Because my daughter is going through this stage where I don't know where she's getting the shit from. But she's starting to say the shit to me. You see what I'm saying? Girl, oh, 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 nah. We need to backtrack. What is you getting this from? Cause you don't, you don't hear PJ talking to me like that. But because of the fact that she's talking to me like that, now it's kind of, you know, rubbing off on a few other children. Does that make sense? And it's not. It's not a good feeling. It hurts my feelings very much. So I just put the pancakes in my oven so that Fold up these clothes. Uh, um, after I'm done cooking and stuff, as y'all see, a huge basket of clothes right here. Um, <clears throat> I told you, um, this should be literally the stuff that I put in the dryer should be the last bit of clothes that I had to wash. So, um. Thank you, Jesus, only God. I just actually made that, yeah. So I just got one, and so I told you I had three loads. So I actually, I got ooh, two more loads. I'm gonna say two more loads, because I forgot one of my blankets is used as fuck, and it gotta go in there by itself, which y'all see on my bed, that big old brown blanket. That gotta go in wash by itself, so. Actually, the other blankets on my bed is clean. They don't need wash. So I just gotta wash my big blanket. So I just, that's the last load. So I just got one more load. Yeah, let me check that out. Yeah, cause I'm trying to fit that black blanket in back there. But I don't know. It ain't looking like it. If it ain't one load, it'll be two loads. Cause I don't know how it's looking to me. Two more loads and I'm done. Done, 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 Usually I make some grits or cream of wheat with it, but yeah, they're gonna have to settle for just pancakes, eggs, and bacon. And I usually um, do my breakfast bake, which is I chop up some potatoes that I have, and um, onions, mushrooms, peppers. Um, you know sausage bacon and i'll put that all in a pan and then i'll take some scrambled eggs put some cheese in there make some you know parsley some chives in there season it with some salt and pepper and um i'll sprinkle it over all of the eggs i mean all of the potato bake and stuff and i'll put it you can either put them in the little muffins you can create little breakfast muffin bakes or you can create a whole pan of it a whole loaf of it that way you have you know, whole breakfast bake for the whole week, you know, for you and your family to eat. And that's usually what I do. And I'll show you guys what, um, you know, the things that I cook throughout the week, throughout the days and stuff. I'll start getting back on my cooking videos and also I'll start getting back on my mukbangs. I just gotta, until I get my camera, until, you know, tax season, I just gotta do what I gotta do. And you know, as soon as I make a video, post it, and then I got to delete it. So that's what I'm going to do for y'all. So that way I can get my content out there. I'm not leaving you guys empty-handed. But still nobody's commenting on my videos and let me know what y'all want to see. So I'm just going to authentically be myself and show y'all what the fuck I do with my life. So, so I see y'all watching. So thank you guys for my Etsy game for... The people that are watching me, thank you guys for joining my channel. Thank you guys for liking, commenting, 
not commenting because y'all ain't commenting. Thank you guys for subscribing and being here alone again because y'all, I got a lot of shit, a lot of videos coming, okay? Y'all just got to stay alone for the ride. And for the ones that's been alone for the ride, thank you so much. And for the new subscribers, thank you guys so much. Y'all don't understand how much I appreciate y'all because I started from zero subscribers, zero views. So the fact that I'm getting just six views or eight views or 12 views, that just mean a lot to me because at least it's, you know, working towards something, you know. And we got a lot to talk about. I got so much shit to talk to y'all about. I'm just waiting until I'm in the right space to talk to y'all about the shit that's been going on in my life because it's been a lot. It's been, boy, I say... These past six years of me having kids and everything, my life has been on a roller coaster. I've had great times, I've had bad times, it's been ups and downs. I'm just learning right now. I'm in a space where I am happy, I am trying to find peace, I am just in a space where, you know, I'm trying to grow. You know, and maturing and, you know, learning new things. That's just the space that I am in. Um, I'm just in a good space right now where I'm just, God is opening new doors for me. I just have to be patient right now. Everything is slowly coming together for me. Just have to. That's it. I'm at where I'm at in life because of decisions that I made, and I chose to be here. So I'm pretty much sucking it up the decisions that I made in life, and just sucking up the present right now, and just rolling with the flow, and knowing that. Just knowing that in the back of my mind that you know greater is to come. You know blessings are on the way so although things may like whatever that's happening in my life or whatever that's happening in your life and it may seem like you're in a dark place or it may seem like i'm in a dark place but just know that you're at the place where you're at because you know it's meant and when things is supposed to happen in your life it's going to happen it's not always on our timing because our timing is never correct i gotta always think about that like God's timing is always perfect. I'll be trying to rush it. Like I be telling you, I'll be trying to rush. I can't be doing that. Because God be like, no. No. There's a lesson that you need to learn right here. I'm, I'm trying to work on you. This is I'm trying to work with you, but you need to, you know. So, it's just, I'm learning and Right now I'm up. I'm happy that I'm up because I'm trying to get myself on the, you know, on a good schedule. So even though I've been up all night and I'm up right now, I'm happy because hopefully this this will get me on the schedule to start waking up early every morning and start getting a routine and making breakfast and you know having lunch ready at exactly twelve. You see what I'm saying and having dinner prepared at a decent time so that I'm not always cooking at 11 and 10 o'clock at night because that's been getting to me as well. Like, I need I need to get on a better regimen, a better schedule. So, that's why I'm up the way off. Hey, y'all know how you forget about my big gift. Y'all know how you forget. continue to cook I got 
guys, I don't know how to cook breakfast for you, but I got just enough two eggs to cook my mom two sunny side eggs because my mom does not do scrambled eggs. My mom likes her eggs sunny side up. Mom is a very picky eater. Like, she doesn't eat meat, and if she do eat meat, it's barely. And she eats lots of green beans, um, fruits, vegetables, but she does not eat peppers, zucchini, squash. She don't eat onions. So, kind of hard shopping for my mom, but pretty simple. We put, it's hard because of the fact that she likes fresh green beans, but that's why it makes it hard because fresh green beans they go bad so fucking fast and that's what frustrates me because i like literally last month y'all when i said i bought my mom two big old bags of green beans this big and then i bought a whole big old bag of fresh green beans so i bought like that was probably like six bags all together yo and it went bad before i could even cook it and i was so pissed i was so pissed so I gotta learn that at least at this time. I'm gonna save some money on my card so that way I can have money to buy just fresh green beans whenever she wants it. And also, I'm gonna uh, learn that when I buy fresh green beans, I gotta cook it ASAP when I buy it. So I gotta um, come up with my meals that I'm gonna incorporate the fresh green beans so that way they don't go fucking bad fast. That's the problem. Sometimes I just get into this, like, a lot of shit just knocks me off and affects me. Like, other people's energy, other people not having a good day, that can affect, you know, my vibe and shit. And when I get thrown off, it kind of puts me, like, in a depressed mood. Then I get kind of, like, in a lazy mood. And then I, you know, I get knocked off my shit. And I just don't be wanting to do shit. Like, and, like, I be procrastinating with shit. And I don't like that because I'm very... I noticed that about myself, like, I'm very, my spirit is very sensitive to when it comes to other people. So that's why I try to stay away from other people more in that sense, because I'm just finding out more about myself. So I'm just, I try to more stay to myself because I learned that about myself. I'm very prone to being sensitive to other people's energy that makes sense and when people carry sometimes carry little vibrational vibes or being angry all the time it kind of affects me so i try to stay away from that shit sake of my spirit and sake of my happiness If I'm already dealing with shit, you know, somebody else's shit, but or just creates more chaos and it drives me crazy. Yeah. It drives me crazy. I am done making the pancakes. Um, I done cleaned up as I went. So all I got to do is wash this one pan and this one egg bowl. Thank you, Lola. I got this knife and the water. Y'all, another thing. I like making my videos for y'all. Like... When my kids are asleep, because when they up, they be so loud, and y'all, I gotta put it on my agenda that I gotta clean my microwave, because, like, it's really been getting to me. I've really been saying that I'm gonna clean my microwave, y'all, but I haven't been able to find the time in the day, because of either I'm washing or cleaning up after my damn kids all fucking day, which drives me insane, but I have to literally make time to clean my microwave. And I mopped the floors like two weeks ago, but honestly, I need to mop my floors again too. So I have to put that on my agenda too. I have a booklet upstairs, but my kids been turning it up. So I actually need to buy some more, you know, a agenda books for me to write shit that I need. Like I need a, like a, either like a big ass eraser board or something for me to be able to write 
you know, my agendas and stuff that I need to get done. And I can put it on the big old eraser board and I can I can check this stuff off throughout the day that the stuff that I'm doing that way I can you know get on a better schedule and I can start you know teaching my kids get my son prepared for school start like drawing on the eraser board like numbers and letters and different colors and stuff for him so he can know his shapes and stuff because he's gonna be starting school next year so that's just it's been a lot of shit like I told y'all that I gotta get together that I, I need to you know, handle, but it's just, it's all gonna happen in God's time because it's just a lot of shit that's stressing me out. It's, all, it's just literally only one thing that's holding me back right now is really this, um, <clears throat> this thing that I have going on with court, and I have to really get it handled so that way I can be able to get my truck fixed, I can be able to get my license, get my tags. And I can be able to start driving my truck so I can be able to get stuff done. Like, I would feel more confident driving my truck if I had my license. Like, especially alone. Like, I wouldn't need to have anybody always have to chauffeur on me, you know, all the time because I feel so nervous because the fact that I don't got my license, I just got my temps. I just need to hurry up and get my license. So, once I get that done, y'all, and get this lifted, I can get a lot.